Suzanne Hall for winter 2021 with all my favourite effortlessly chic outfit ideas. As you can see, I have a rail full of beautiful new in clothes from the winter collection at Cezanne, and I'm going to be sharing two, possibly three different ways I would style each piece. As you can probably tell, I am hugely excited to show you all what I bought. I actually think this might be my favorite collection they've done all year. So let's begin with a little bit of sparkle and something I'm thinking about wearing for Christmas day. And that would be this beautiful deep navy shirt. How pretty is that? Let me bring it a little bit closer so you can see all that lovely detailing around the edge there. So this has been made from 100% organic cotton. So big tick from the start. Take that label off because I'm sure about this one. So you've got all this lovely embroidery detail across the chest as well. And then those two frills that come over the shoulder there, which is so pretty. I don't know if you remember, but I was saying the other week, a couple of videos ago, that I really needed a couple of new pretty blouses in my wardrobe, because that's the sort of thing one for Christmas parties and dressing up a little bit that I felt like I was missing. So this definitely fills a gap for me. So the bit of sparkle is coming from this beading detail that you've got all the way around the neck and a sprinkle of it across the chest and the shoulders. It's a sprinkle rather than a splash, which is just my cup of tea. So this first outfit is kind of what I'm thinking for Christmas day this year. I've mentioned it before, but I do have this thing where I like to get quite dressed up on Christmas day, which is just ridiculous because I end up cooking half of the day and it's not the most practical thing to be dressed up in some of your favorite pieces, but I can't help myself and I just love the feeling of being all dressed up on Christmas morning. The second look I'm sharing, hopefully, that you don't need to save your sparkly or glittery pieces for best or for special occasions. It does feel really effortlessly chic, which is pretty good because that is in the title of this video. And it is a bit of a high-low look, which is something I'm also really fond of. Obviously the high with a little bit of sparkle and the two lows with my jeans and my blazer. Like most people, for the last couple of years, I don't really go out very much. So I do feel the need to use pieces like this as much as possible in the daytime as well. You want to really get the most wear out of your wardrobe possible. So don't save things for best. Have a little styling session in front of the mirror, see if you can make it work for the daytime. And I'm imagining there would be at least a couple of high-low outfits you could create. Next on my rail is this beautiful mini dress made from 100% merino wool. Now I'm not sure how they do it, but Suzanne's merino wool tends to feel like cotton in a really nice way. I've got really bad eczema on my hands, which I'm sorry, it looks awful today. But sometimes merino really irritates it and makes it even worse. But for whatever reason, and very lucky for me, Suzanne's doesn't do that to me. It feels very smooth, very cooling on my skin. As we know, minis are particularly on trend this season and I don't have have an awful lot of them in my wardrobe so it was definitely a gap that needed filling i was only going to buy into that trend if i found something that really suited me which this definitely does i think i hope so anyway now there's a couple of reasons why i feel particularly comfortable in this and i wouldn't in say another type of mini dress firstly i would say i really like long sleeves obviously it's very practical for the cold but i like that look as well i love a puff sleeve um it's a bit like camel for me i can never resist having a little bit of detail at the shoulders just helps balance you out a little bit and for me as well this one is about those little details that maybe you wouldn't spot straight away but it does overall make an outfit look more expensive because of them. So two different looks there with this dress. One, particularly dressed down, just pairing it with my loafers. You could toughen that up with a leather jacket maybe, that would look quite cool. And this second look, which I think is my favourite between the two, but do let me know in the comments section which you prefer. This look just naturally feels a little bit more Parisian, which is a style I'm very fond of. So next up to this very pretty baby blue cardigan that I'm wearing. Can you tell I am in love with this cardigan? I think it's beautiful. Pretty cardigans and just beautiful knitwear in general seems to be quite a running theme I see on street style images from Paris. And I think part of that is down to the little details, those pretty trims and gentle frills. I think that sort of encompasses a very traditional French looking cardigan for me. So this one is actually available in a lovely deep golden tone if you prefer some 
something a bit darker. They've also got a red if you prefer a pop of colour and they've got a really nice accru version as well. So I thought with my new darker hair a baby blue might look quite nice. Now lots of people ask me is Suzanne's knitwear itchy and like I was talking about before there is some magic that they do with their knitwear that enables me to be able to wear pretty much all of it. This one for instance has been made from a blend of wool and mohair and I would have said traditionally I could never wear mohair it would drive my eczema potty but for some reason like I said before I am able to wear Suzanne's I don't find them itchy at all they're not scratching against my skin and that's brilliant for me because it kind of opens up this whole area of clothes that I wasn't able to wear before so a bit of a running theme here the cardigan has got very slight puff sleeves which are pretty however the shining glory with this cardigan has to be that beautiful open work detail to the knit so you've got it going all the way around the neck and coming down the front and then you've got that gorgeous crochet detail as well just finishing it off beautifully so two different outfit ideas for you there but in all honesty I think this cardigan is absolutely beautiful I know I'm going to be able to mix and match it into lots of different outfit ideas a definite keeper now before I move on to the rest of the rail, I had a little idea that I just wanted to run by you all and see what you thought. I often think how lovely it would be to be able to meet some of you, maybe do a bit of shopping, go for a cuppa, put the world to rights. So I was thinking about getting in touch with the London Suzanne store and asking them if I could do some sort of event in store and invite you all to come along. Timeline wise, it's possibly something we could do for the launch of their spring collection set. We could have a few drinks on me of course and try on a few pieces that are new in store and give you my styling advice. Obviously the nature of YouTube means that a lot of you are all around the world which kind of blows my mind when I think about it. So only a small portion of you would actually be able to go to London. But maybe we could live stream the event so you could join in and I could take questions from you on the laptop and you can see all the outfit ideas. I don't know if all this will work, it's just an idea, but I do know it will be really lovely to meet as many of you as I possibly can. So do let me know in the comments section below if you'd either like to come along to the Suzanne store in London or would you like me to live stream it so you can see everything that's going on do let me know what you think in the comment section below i am slightly nervous that i'd organize something like this and maybe three people would turn up but us three people could have a really nice time <laughs> Next up in my Suzanne shopping spree, I went for this beautiful silk blouse. Now, as I was saying earlier, I definitely had a gap in my wardrobe. I was missing some pretty blouses, some nice shirts, and particularly looking for things that would cross over nicely for all different sorts of occasions. So this shirt is actually quite a classic with Suzanne. It's one of their best sellers. I forgot to mention, one of the most important things, it's made from 100% silk, and it feels beautiful. I just love the quality of their pieces. I don't think I have ever had an eye item from Suzanne that I thought, mm, not sure about the quality there. They're always amazing, always beautiful. And when I look at their pieces in my own wardrobe, I can imagine I'm gonna be wearing it in 10 years, 15 years time. And although they follow the trends and they tick loads of those boxes, they do it in their own special French way. So it feels really original. And then in this second look, I went for something a bit smarter, possibly for workwear with tailored trousers, loafers, and then a beautiful classic wool coat. I would wear both, but I would equally wear this probably in about 50 different ways. A very versatile and beautifully made piece. Next up in this Suzanne haul, I bought something that I've wanted for a very long time, the Leo boots. These are a classic at Suzanne that I finally got round to spoiling myself to. There are lots of different reasons I think these are the perfect looking ankle boots, but let's start with that gorgeous colour. I just adore it, I can never resist it, so I know it's going to mix and match into loads of different outfit ideas. The quality, as with all of their leather items, is beautiful. And the other bonus I think with this particular pair is the heel height. I could quite comfortably walk around in those all day and it wouldn't kill my feet. And it would give me a little bit of extra height which is always a bonus. And another clever trick is that they laminate their heels as well so it minimizes them getting scuffed. Also I did a really lovely shoot yesterday for a friend I met on Instagram. She's launching a collection of recycled cashmere pieces and a beautiful pair of organic jeans. And I styled those boots with one of her gorgeous jumpers. I think I've got it here on the rail 
Look at this for a match. They were made to go together. I will link to her collection in the description box below because I think it's absolutely worth a look. This is the one that I want to buy for myself actually because as you know, I can never resist a stripe. So it's not an ad, it's just a brand that I would highly recommend and she's a really lovely lady too. But back to Suzanne and my beautiful boots that no doubt I shall be wearing on repeat this winter. Now to another beautiful Suzanne top. Like the dress, this one's made from 100% merino. This for me is going to be one of those everyday workhorses in my capsule wardrobe. You could easily add another layer underneath if you needed to. It's just one of those very versatile pieces. So like I mentioned, you've got that higher neck which feels really elegant and that lovely button detail just coming over the shoulder there. So as you can see in outfit one, I went pretty tonal with lots of different shades of grey, one of my favourites for this winter. I've paired it with my charcoal Gustavo trousers, love the shape on those. And then I've added my pointed toe ankle boots on my feet. And I finished with this beautiful grey mull coat. In the second look, I was hoping to share just how lovely grey and navy look together. I absolutely love that combination and it's something I've been wearing an awful lot so far this winter. So I've got my skinny jeans on there, my ankle boots again, and one beautiful blazer that I cannot stop wearing because I absolutely love it to finish off. Yes, it is a staple piece, but it's been made so beautifully that I hope to have it for life. As you will have seen throughout this video, I am a little bit in love with my new navy blazer. How beautiful is that? It's effortlessly chic, it's very French, and I absolutely love it. So it's double-breasted, you've got a classic collar, and then this lovely piping detail over the pocket. But of course, the shining style with this one has to be those amazing gold buttons, which just ooze Parisian style to me. So this one is available in the navy that I went for, but also a charcoal gray. One thing to note, I did size up to a 40 in this, whereas I would normally go with a 38, thinking about winter, because I do want to be able to wear this throughout the season and mix and match it with all my chunky knits underneath. You might have also seen on my Instagram feed, I styled this recently with navy stripes underneath. It's a classic look, of course, that's always a winner in my book. And I was also wearing this very same jacket in last week's French style chic video. If you've missed that, I shall pop a link in the description box below. And as a bit of a brucey bonus, I also styled it like this, dressing it up a little bit to make it work for the evening and thinking about all those Christmas parties we're going to be enjoying. Sometimes I think you can go into a store and not be sure what's going to suit you and you don't fall in love with it until you try it on on and it surprises you and other times like that with that blazer you just know yep that's my style through and through I have to have it Next up to my beautiful grey wool coat. Now I wanted one of these coats for quite a while but I couldn't decide what colour. So grey was something I was definitely missing in my own wardrobe and when I spotted this new in for winter 2021, I couldn't resist. I'm gonna have to put it back on the rail because it's actually very heavy. Made from 100% wool and as you can see, it's got a lovely mixture of different grey tones in there which just gives it a bit more depth and makes it feel a little bit more special. It's definitely more tailored than some of my other coats I've bought recently. So so again, that was an area that I seem to be missing out on. It's double breasted, it's got quite a straight cut, piped pockets and obviously the tailored collar. It obviously works beautifully with all those shades of grey that I showed you before. In this outfit idea, I decided to style it with the leather trousers again. So to keep it nice and toasty, I've added my big chunky roll neck. Uh, that one came from Reese again a couple of seasons ago. So if there is a similar one available, I shall link it in the description box below. It's obviously one of those pieces that's going to be incredibly versatile in my wardrobe. So a very welcome addition to my rail. And that just about completes my last Suzanne haul of the year. I really, really hope you love all the pieces that I chose as much as I do. And it'd be really nice to hear your favorites in the comments section below. So it's nearly Christmas and I am very nearly, nearly at 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is amazing. And I am so very grateful to all of you. I try not to think about the numbers too much because then I get nervous and it scares me a little bit doing my videos. It's almost easier if I think that it's just a couple of people 
people watching. However, Walter keeps reminding me I am very, very nearly there to 100,000 subscribers. So if you can help in any way to get me just that little bit closer before Christmas, I would be very grateful. Do have a wonderful week, everyone, and I will see you back here next Sunday with lots more outfit ideas and fashion advice. Take care.